Hey guys, it's Rick with Elijah Tooling. Give me two minutes of your time and I'll make it worth it. Listen, today I've got this uh, interesting aerospace looking part and I thought I would go through and, and uh, describe one of the key processes by which many of our fasteners, you can see I've connected them to the back of this, are used, and that's called picture framing. So, a little history. I came up back in the early 90s, actually. No, that's when we started our business. Early, yeah, early 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I was an apt NC programmer, believe it or not. That means you wrote on paper. Well, back in those days, we used to uh, locate parts against datums. And so you'd have a, a part, and it had three or four major datums, and our fixturing would locate it such that everything was located against datums. Somebody, don't know who, really smart person, um, came up with the concept of holding parts, locating parts, but not respected to their datums. We still use the datums, but the things that we use to hold them or locate them were only related to the datums. So that's where we come into the idea of a, of a picture frame. So here, this is a great example. You've got this part, and it might have one of these flanges might be a datum. Well, we're not locating against the datum, and we never use the datum, but we're creating the datum within the context of this frame or picture frame. So this is the billet that this part started with from and inside the billet then we have um, its holding. You can see it's held with the fasteners and then a locating situation where we have a pin or pins that are locating it. So as long as we, we keep those locations constant throughout the process, we can keep the relationship to the datums correct as well. So that's kind of the, the, the idea behind using a picture frame. In our case, our fasteners lend themselves very well to this process because they allow us to hold the parts and we can even uh, machine down the frame right above the part or uh, the the fastener or right along the edges of the fastener um, so that when we get all done all we have to do is break the part out of the frame. Now there's a number of different ways to do this um, uh, tabbing. This is what we call this this little right, uh, runner right here is a tab. So we have over the top tabs which th th they're not shown here. We actually have a page on our website that describes this a little bit in more detail and the part looks kind of like this as well but we have over the top tabs we have these kind of along the the flange type tabs and then we have foil type tabs which are going to run along the bottom edge but you can get more information about that on the website the idea is that our part comes out of this frame as long as we can use the frame back and forth in all of our processes and locate against it, then we can make our part complete and hold our tolerances and hold our datums at a much lower cost in fixture. And in our case, we use a modular fixture so that you only have one fixture period permanently and then you can have, you can use your fasteners in the modular fixture wherever they happen to fit well with your part geometry. The other thing that this type of fixturing does is it lends itself to um, a situation where you can nest parts, where you might have even 10 or 20 parts in one nest and then you'll have the fasteners coming up wherever there's an opportunity for them to hold the piece. So the concept looks like this. You machine it, you create uh, a very stable setup, 
generally you start with stage one I'm not showing that but you start with stage one it's in a vice of some kind ideally one of our modular vices and then you flip the part or in stage one you prepare the part for the fixture where you're going to have our fasteners our zip bushings our retractable dial pins so you're going to flip it into that fixture and then you're going to continue from there in that fixture eventually and towards the very end of the process you're going to reveal these tabs when you're machining so the idea is that you actually have a very stable uh, situation not only be because you have got these fasteners that are very stable but the the process itself is very stable at the end of the process we reveal the tabs in like the very last operation and then uh, we remove the, the part, remove the fasteners from it, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it with one of them though. Uh, we remove the fastener from the process. Remember this is in your modular fixture plate. You take it off and then you snap the part out of the frame. So that's the idea. I hope it's been helpful. See you next time.